G'day everyone, you got Mark from Aussie Heads and Race Engines here again. Um, last time for this year I reckon. Um, yeah, it's that time of year. It's all Christmas, we've had our Christmas over here, you guys have that over there. It's all over and done, all over Red Rover. But I thought what I'd do is show you what I sort of did this year. Is um, I made my own Christmas tree and I just had to do something with the difference here. Uh, as you can see, it's sort of like a um, mechanical tree. It actually um, spins and everything. It's all spins, stuff like that. Um, what I've done is um, just use the sort of, sort of stuff that's um, been unserviceable. But yeah, just uh, for a base, I sort of started off with, with a couple of disc rotors and a couple of suspension, rear suspension springs, coil springs. There's uh, a rocket gear off a magnet there. And then I uh, got an input shaft of a gearbox under here. I've actually put a wheel hub on there and then welded it to a crankshaft. <laughs> That's a Holden 202 crankshaft. Um, and what was happening, because, yeah, it was that bloody heavy. This thing weighs over 200 kilos, I reckon, which is about, you know, 400 pounds, say. Um, yeah, it started getting a bit uh, un uneasy on the springs here, so... Um, I had to then run another rocky gear, that's off a Falcon, that one. And all I've done is just uh, welded a couple of um, caps on the, the heads there and she sturdies it up now. Pretty good. Um, for the branches, you can see with the main stemmers, I've used the Holden 3.3 crankshaft. It's fully counter, counterbalanced, that one. A blue motor one. Um, the camshaft out of a uh, 4.1 Falcone um, roller hydraulic camshaft that is, so yeah, I've welded it that on there. And yeah, that all spins, as you can see. And um, for the branches, I started up the top here, just use some rocker shafts, just to, just old stuff I had laying around. Was, I know I could have done it better, but yeah, that's, that's how we roll. And yeah, start off some rocker shafts there, and then I thought, what can we do down the bottom here? So I've actually got moving moving branches. So what I've done is just got some con rods and um, yeah, sort of cut them off there, and then welded them to a rocker shaft, and then welded the little end of, on the other end of them. As you can see there. So we've got all moving branches, and um, yeah, just something different. I started running out of uh, rocker shafts, so um, as you can see here, I've welded a couple of cams here and there just to get more spread. Um, everyone sort of wanted me to put lights and stuff on it, and I said I can't really do lights because I've got something better I'll show you in a minute. But I was going to put the old tinsel and stuff on it, and I was just going to use some swarf off the lathe because you know you can get into it and when you cut, you know, you can do real big cuts and, um, you know, it goes blue and all sorts of colours, purple. But a couple of months ago, I had a whole heap of it and um, I threw it out to get me. So I, I was going to, before Christmas, actually get just bar and turn it down in the lathe for nothing, just for swarf, but sort of run out of time. I turned a bit busy and, yeah, it was sort of going to be a waste of time and effort, but... Um, yeah, that's, uh, I'll, I'll spruce it up. This is only prototype one, I suppose, Mark 1. Um, yeah, Mark 2 will, will run next year. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll show you how it rolls. you actually got to turn this tree on. It's a little bit special, this thing. It'll make a bit of noise, but... Let's see how we go. Christmas everyone, thank you for uh, all your views, likes, comments, and uh, yeah, I'll do my best to keep it up next year, so everyone take care, have good holidays, 
Um, if you had a drink, don't drive, eh? Definitely don't. And uh, yeah, take care on the roads. I'll catch you later.